working with a group that has its own space is priceless. This was by far my, and still is, my favorite theater to watch a show in, as far as comfort, sight lines. I love the intimate space of it. The audience is so close to you. They really feel like they're on top of you watching the spectacle. That's what you want. Look at them. So the first thing I did here was I came in and I ran lights and I decided I really liked being up in that booth. Sound go? I feel like it's more than the performing or the theater aspect of it. The people that I've met here feel like family. The Wakefield item on November 8th in 1937 ran the story, Quantipaw Players New Theater Group. It was about a group of men and women from Reading and Wakefield who'd been doing a yearly play for the benefit of the Wakefield YMCA. The YMCA made a decision to discontinue doing the plays, so they formed a committee to create a, a dramatic club. The result was a merger of the Reading Little Theater Group, forming the Quantipaw Players, for the purpose of furthering their interest in amateur productions. The name of the group came from the lake that lies between Reading and Wakefield. The rest, as they say, is history. The first Quantipaw Players production was The Bishop Misbehaves. It was performed in the Wakefield YMCA in February of 1938. The ticket price was 50 cents. QP did very well over the years and was very active in the community. They started producing plays in rented halls and school auditoriums and old movie theaters in Reading and Wakefield. <laughs> QP's continued success led them to think about a rehearsal space, a meeting place, a place to build their sets. They found it and they purchased the Chestnut Hill School for $3,900 in 1950 from the town of Reading and used the two-room schoolhouse for meetings, rehearsals, workshops, storage, construction. In the late 1960s, QP decided to convert the space into a theater. The dividing wall for the two schoolrooms was removed, additional supports were put in the basement, the blackboards were taken out, and seats from an old movie theater were purchased and installed, and we still use them today, refurbished, all with volunteer labor. In 2008, QP took on the largest project since purchasing the Little Red Schoolhouse and turning it into a theater. Doubling our space, QP added handicapped accessible facilities, a real lobby, as well as costume and storage space. The project has made the QP theater more inviting, accessible, and good for at least another 78 years. The Quantipaw players are renowned for their depth of talent, both in their actors who are featured on stage and the creative talents who design the magic for the QP Black Box Theater, winning many theatrical competitions and awards. And for over 70 years, QP's volunteer membership and seasoned subscribers enjoy four to five shows that we produce every year, whether it's a comedy, a drama, a mystery, or a musical, in the unique converted schoolhouse known as the Quantipaw Playhouse. Think about what shows will appeal to our actors, to our directors, to our audience members. The play reading committee from the previous year tells you what shows you're, you're going to do. So you might read the four scripts if we're doing four shows uh, and think what's in your age range? What? <laughs> you know, can, can I dye my hair for that? I really enjoy the process of working with my fellow actors and whoever my director is at the time and really discovering these characters. Once you're into it, you kind of get a sense for what scenes, what moments need more time, more work. It's very natural, it's very real. Our goals are simple. We tell good stories. We put actors in great costumes, with the right hair, with the right makeup. We have imaginative sets illuminated by wonderful lights. You know, how does this look? How does this sound? Is this the right costume piece? All done by amazing designers who come here and put their creative talents to work. This is a great space to work in. Uh, the black box idea where people are part of the space. A stage manager that calls the show perfectly so everything seems seamless. I love the fact that it's small and you can see the audience and you're right in there with them. And I love watching them become so involved in the show. All led by a director with a, a very clear vision. Uh, welcome to Point of Power Players. I am Mark Bahar. At the end of that opening night, we have a nice nasha food, 
and we have a, a celebrity toast and it's electrifying and everyone's on a high and we all look at each other and say we can't wait to come back and do this again tomorrow night. That high isn't just for those actors, it's for everybody. The person who pushed the button for the sound, the person who moved a, a set piece, uh, the person who helped build that set, they're all part of that and they all feel that. There's something really special about taking a group of people from all walks of life, bringing them all together, and we're gonna put on a show together. It's a place where we can be creative, where we can enjoy each other's company as friends and family, and be ourselves. Community theater for us is, is the, the word community is really part of it. Uh, to me, these are my friends. This is my social circle. I was very fortunate when I came to QP. I met wonderful friends who became family. Um, I met the love of my life. This became our second home, it still is. have a very special place in my heart. I love it. I love QP. 